This video will show you how to import Unify custom fields to Power BI. To begin, click on the Get Data button. Select Web from the drop down list. A dialog box will open. In this box, select the Advanced option. And then select Parameter from the URL drop down list. This sets up the basic URL structure which is your company.unify.com.au. Enter the URL that you use to log into the Unify system. You can find this in the browser bar in your window. Then you need to add the endpoint that you want to access. Endpoints must always start with slash API. For this example, enter project. To know what APIs you can use, go to the hamburger menu. Select API documentation and you can view all of the endpoint options. With your API selected, go back to Power BI and press OK. This will extract the data needed, which we will then need to transform into a project custom field table. Once pulled, you will see this pre-transformed list of nothing, and you will see that the symbol next to project 2 will look different as it has not been transformed yet. First, change the name to follow naming conventions. In this case, project custom fields. Next, click the convert to table button. Keep the default settings and click OK. You will now see a table but with only one column. You need to then tell the system how to separate the information. To do so, click the button in the corner. Click load more and untick select all columns. Then search for custom fields. Select. Scroll up for ID, select that. Deselect use original column name option and click OK. Now you will see the Unify project ID on the left. Next. Expand the custom fields again by selecting Expand to New Rows to view each custom field. This will make the project ID repeat down the page. You will then need to transform this again. Click the box at the right again, and this time tick Use Original Column Name to bring in the accurate field name. Then you want to get rid of all the nulls. To do so is simple. Simply untick the null box and click OK. Now you have a list of all your data, but to best use this data for visualization you want to pivot the table so that custom field names become the columns, and field value per project the data. This is done by going into transform, and clicking pivot columns. This will turn the rows into columns. The values column you want to select is custom fields value. Select, and click advance options. Then select, don't aggregate so as to get the actual number put into the system, not an aggregate of it. Once done, click OK. You will now see a lot more columns. There is one per custom field item, so the number depends on your own data. Rows will have reduced dramatically, as it will only be one per project ID now. The last step is to tell Power BI Desktop what these fields are. Click on the ABC123 box on the left and select data type, to tell the system what it is, whole number, decimal, etc. You need to do this row by row, but only once per custom field import. Once that's done, go to home and click close and apply. This will close query editor and take you back to your Unify dashboards. It will now pull all that information into the system. The final step is to go to Modeling, and click Manage Relationships. In here search for the new relationship, Project Custom Field. You will see that the system has connected Project Custom Field with everything that has an ID in the system. These are all irrelevant except for the Project ID one. You now need to go through and manually delete all the irrelevant ones. Continue until this is done. When they are all deleted, tick the remaining project option and click close. Then to start visualizing your new data, you can create a new page. Select name. Scroll to project custom fields. 
Find and tick Fika. You can then expand the table for a better view. You are now ready to start using your custom fields data.